welcome to a tutorial for numerical reasoning tests for the fire service series one. Uh, what we're going to look at here is um, how to complete a uh, numerical series and the way to approach them. So the best way to approach a question like this is to look at what's in between the series. So not what the actual number is, but what is the difference in between. So if we have a look at this, 3 and 1 is a difference of 2, 1 and 5 is a difference of 4, 5 and 3, difference of 2, 3 and 7, difference of 4, 7 and 5, difference of 2, and we've figured out the pattern is two, four, two, four, two. So it'll be two, then it'll be four again, then it'll be two there, so negative two is gonna make that seven, and then plus four should be 11. So it's negative two plus four, negative two, plus four, negative two plus four. So seven and 11 is the answer for this one. So that's question five for numerical tests from fire series one. We'll have a look at this next one, same applies. So question seven, five and six, that's one. Six and eight, two, eight and 11, three. So if it goes one, two, three, that should be four. So that should make that 15. Yep. So if we added four, that'd be 15. If we added five to the next that one, that'd be 20, which is true. So that should be 26, because we'd one, two, three, four, five, six. So the answer should be 26 and 15. So 15 and 26. That's our answer for number seven. Question eight, so same thing again. So I've got a difference of negative one, difference of negative two, difference of negative three would make that 15. Yep, so difference of negative four. So if we, negative three, so negative one, negative two, negative three, makes that 15. 15 minus four makes that 11. 11 minus five is going to be six. So we're gonna have 15 and six down there. So that's the answer there. So see how we're just figuring out the pattern more based on what the difference is. So that's the fundamental way of figuring out these numerical sequences. Alright, yeah, so question one, if we have a look at the gap here, that is a difference of negative five. 99 and 94 is negative five. 94 to 96 is plus two. So if we run negative five again, that would make that 91, which we have down here. 91 plus two equals 93. 93 minus five equals 88. 88 plus two equals 90. So that's us there. Right here. Now, what have we got here? Question three, difference between four and nine. Five between nine and five is 
four. Twenty-four of an eight is three. So between eight and six is two. So between six and seven is one. So five, four, three, two, one. That would be a zero, I'd reckon, which would make that seven. And then it would go negative one, which would make that six. So it's going five, four, three, two, one, zero, negative one. And if it kept going, it'd be negative two and so on. So that would make that seven. Negative one would make that six, which it is. So the answer for the question mark is seven.